Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It is your host with the most, Bluebeard Gamer. Welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, where we last left off. We had explored the Galactic Tower, and by explored, I mean absolutely annihilated everyone inside. Jupiter was the only person who put up even the slightest bit of a threat with that stun tank. But uh, here we are. I'm going to talk to people. I've already learned how to shift gears, thank you. I know, I know, I know. And what do you have to say, sir? Bluebeard, long time no see. Yeah, I don't know who you are. Oh, you're that guy! How did you talk? How did this guy talk again? Do you remember? I, I made up some weird voice for this guy. I've come a long way to the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. Bluebeard, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 44 Pokemon! Wonderful! Yes, bravo! Professor Rowan should be delighted! Here is something for you! Oh, a rare candy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Giving a rare candy to a Pokemon will instantly increase that Pokemon's level by one. You can raise your weak Pokemon, or you can train your strong Pokemon. Use them as you like. Also, a Pokemon you get in a train will may disobey you if it's too high in level. Don't worry, though. It'll obey if you have enough gym badges. I think I'm just going to make him speak like that. I don't know why. But yeah, in this episode, we're going to be exploring a Cycling Road, which I assume is what this is. Whoa! Okay, that... That is the fourth gear, I guess. I just zoomed across there. That was nuts. Okay. Are you going to let me go back and explore that stuff eventually? Because that's what I want to do. Staravia? Oh. Well, this could actually be a bit of a predicament. That's a tough matchup for me. Uh, you're faster than me. I can pretty much guarantee it. You've intimidated me, and I know you have a flying type move. So, um... Oh, my guess is going to be my best bet here. You resist fly- you resist flying- I think you do you double resist flying? What, 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 what resists flying? I think electric does, and I think steel, and I think maybe rock. Maybe. Double team? Oh, come on now. Please don't do that. You're gonna be really annoying about this, aren't you? Let's try to get off a of Thunder Wave before he gets too powerful for his own good. Nice, I landed it. Okay. Get wrecked! You're slow now. You lowered my attack, which is fine, because I have electric-type moves. Although I think Spark may actually still do more damage. Because I'm not going to be much faster than him anyway. Let's try to Ledger Ball and see how much damage it does. And I missed. Shoot, man. Stop growling! Okay, well now Ledger Ball is probably going to do more damage anyway. Hold still. Oh my gosh, I missed twice?! He only raised his evasion by one stage. This is a 100% accurate move. There we go. Now I can hit him. Whoa! Okay, that did more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> did a little more damage than I thought. Nice. Good job, Terrence. I knew you could do it. You definitely did a lot. I believe in you. And I defeated Cyclist Axel. Yes, I did. You stood no chance against the might. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, what's going on? Why are you rolling? Uh-oh. What's going on here? Is that a slope? I think it's a slope. What? What's the deal with that? Is, is that a slope and I'm just going crazy? I genuinely think I'm going crazy. <laughs> What just happened? I thought I was getting Joy-Con drift on my Pro Controller and I was freaking out. Because the whole reason I bought this was to, was to avoid Joy-Con drift, or to try to avoid Joy-Con drift. Goodness gracious, okay. A Shinx? I'm not scared of a Shinx. Well, now I'm slightly more scared of a Shinx. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm still not worried. Uh, I mean, I, I have a pretty good level advantage on this thing. I can just Razor Leaf it down anyway. Hiya! Still took it out one shot. Okay, well, granted, it was a crit, but, um, I think we would've had it anyway. We're just the best. No doubt about it. Shell oh, leveled up. Good for you, chap. I knew you could do it. Megan just got wrecked in your face. Oh, that, 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 that downward slope is really messing with me. I'm purposefully challenging them all, by the way, before you guys think, Oh, Blue Gamer's running into every trainer. What is he doing? I I'm doing that on purpose. And before I say yes, that's what you guys sound like to me. No, I say that in the nicest and funniest way possible. <laughs> it's like, um, isn't there, s I don't know much about Dave Chappelle, but doesn't he have some skit like that where he just, he makes fun of the audience and they just, you know, making fun of the audience is fun. <laughs> Why am I staying in on a Ponita, by the way? I wasn't really paying attention to that. 
Oh, well, it just wastes its time on a tailwind. Well, thank you for that, because now I'm... Unless you can still outspeed me, I'm just going to be knocking you out. Oh, and you waste your time on a tackle? Surely you had a fire-type move in there to use. Surely. Come on now. You could have done so much damage. You lowered my defense. If you had a flame wheel in there, that would have hurt. But no. This game decides to take it easy on me. My goodness. What a bunch of chumps, dude. What a bunch of chumps. I want to go down there. I see a Pokeball I want. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. You're going down. Downtown. You're going down. Uh, what is it? You're going downtown to Painesville or something. I'll, I'll, I'll think of a. I'll think of a good one there. Starlet does not have intimidate, so I think we should just be able to burst it down with bite. Oh, this, she does have two Pokemon actually. Let's set up a Stealth Rock real quick, just in case the other Pokemon may pose a bit of a threat for some reason. I'd love to be able to chip away at some HP. If it's a Star, if it's a Staravia or something, for example, that could be some nice extra ship we get. Hi, yeah. Yeah, you went down. No problem there. No problem there. Get wrecked. A Ponita? No, I'm gonna stay in, actually. I could do a quarter of your health because of the Stealth Rock. So I should be able to take you down with Bite now. Because I, I don't think you'll outspeed me. Actually, you, you probably will outspeed me. And you're gonna Growl. So now my attack is down to stage. I think I should still be able to pull this off, I think. Hiya? Question mark? No, it wasn't enough. Okay. Well, just bite again, because the AI is not smart enough to use a fire-type attack for some reason. It just insists on lowering my stats and not doing a single point of damage to me for some stupid reason. What are you doing, game? Come on, make it difficult, please. Come on now. I honestly was hoping this game would be a little more challenging. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say that the game itself is bad, but my gosh, they should... This is ridiculous now. Oh, that's why they have a slope. You have to choose a path to take. Alright, well, hopefully I don't have to go back and get something. Hopefully I don't miss something important. Another Starly. What's with all the birds on this route? Goodness gracious me. What's with all these gosh darn birds? Back in my day, we had rocks. That's how you took care of a bird. You threw a rock at it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> but there we go. We have Stealth, stealth Rock set up in his face. Uh, speaking of face, in your face. Oh, no. Well, you know what? I still took that like a champ, because it's a Starly. It's not even a Staravia, it's just a Starly. A Staravia actually would have done a good chunk to me. But, uh, no, not Starly. Star Starly's a bit of a chump. So, get wrecked. Yeah, I'm actually gonna stay in on a, star on a Staravia, as weird as that may seem. I could take out a quarter of its HP. Although it is intimidating me, so maybe Ohm would just have been a better pick. I think Terrence can do it. I think he's good enough. Oh, and a Quick Claw. That's that's useful as well. I think with a quarter damage from Stealth Rock, I think we'll be enough. No! That's not... That could be bad. Okay, you know what? No, it's not. Uh, he still doesn't do enough damage to me because he... And a Quick Claw activated twice in a row, so that's nice. You are a chump! Get wrecked, you chump! That's just my name. That's just my name for the AI at this point. They are. They are. They really are just a bunch of chumps if you think about it. Take down. Can you please? Can you please learn a rock type attack move for Pete's sake? Please learn a rock type move. I beg you. This. This is just absurd. Let's go this way. Hi. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Hey, you wanna fight? Let's fight. You're going down. Downtown to Painesville. I know I've already made that joke a couple of times. But I'm making it again. You'll just have to deal with it. But yeah. In the comments, guys, I want you, because I know I typically say, oh, you should tell you guys should answer this question. You should answer this question. I want you guys to tell me about yourselves. Tell me about. Tell me about how you first discovered Pokemon, or your first Pokemon game, something along those lines. I want to hear about your first exposure to Pokemon. My first exposure to Pokemon, from what I can recall, was maybe about 2011 or 2012 or so, maybe sometime around that, around that range, and I had rented Pokemon Heart Gold from my local game store. And you know what? 
I only had it for a couple of days, but of course I picked for Alligator because for Alligator is definitely the best Johto starter. Don't don't fight. You can fight me on that. It's blatantly obvious. But besides besides the point, I had it for a couple of days. I had a lot of fun. I think I, I actually got pretty far in it. I think I got my for Alligator something like level 51 or something. And this is back before the glo uh, lo global exp share. So I had one, I think for Alligator was my only Pokemon that had any remote leveling, and all the others were something like 10 levels behind. Oh, fun times, fun times indeed. But, um, yeah, then then at some point I got Pokemon Platinum. My, 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 my friend and I both, both bought Pokemon Platinum. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I then got Black 2. That was the first Pokemon game I really got into. I, completing the game, stuff like that. Man, I'm gonna get intimidated twice. Okay. Well, uh, I can't bring Sheldon. He's a water type. Uh, Lassie, I guess? Bulldozer can maybe finally do something? No, he's... No, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's try it using Bulldozer in a fight. Let's get him some levels. You could do it, Bulldozer. I believe in you. I think you actually still outspeed him. I think you can do it. Mold Breaker. Yeah, I am, I am faster than him. So that's nice. But anyway... Yeah, at that point I was basically in the hole. Po Pokemon was my life from here on out. I was just, that's just, my life is gone. Oh, wow, I did not do as much as I would have hoped. But luckily I outspeed him, so I should be able to take him out, because it's a 100% accurate move, and it looks like it's within damage range. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I got, I got uh, Alpha Sapphire, that was pretty fun. I liked the Gen 3 remakes actually quite a bit. Mega Evolution was cool. I had, I had some things I didn't like about it, but there were still some good, positive aspects to it. Um, I actually skipped over XY. I didn't play those, but uh, then then I played Moon. It, it was fun. I, I wasn't a huge fan of the Gen Seven games, but it was all right. Holy smokes! I don't like that downward slope. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. But um, yeah, I played Moon. I picked the picked uh, Rowlet because I didn't really like the other starters. Uh, Incineroar. I really do not like Incineroar now that he has Intimidate. I just I see too much of him in BGC, and he's so annoying. Um, this enjoy is actually the fastest of the three with a base 70, which is which feels really strange that a base 70 is the fastest starter of, of the three. But uh, I also like for Primarino is pretty cool, but I typically tend to pick grass types. And Decidueye was right up my alley. I like them. But uh, yeah, then I then Gen 8, obviously I picked up. Sh uh, I'm trying to think. Pokemon Shield was the first Pokemon game I ever picked up the day of release. All the others had already come out because I was I was younger at those times. I didn't have money directly on hand to buy games or to go out and buy games. I didn't really have a car or things like that. But uh, you know, by the time Pokemon Shield came out, I was a full blown adult. I had a job and a car. There was really no reason why I shouldn't just go out and buy the or even just down physically download or uh, digitally download, not physically download. That's that that seems weird. But uh, digitally download the game day of release. Play it way too much for your own good. I think I have over 400 hours in Pokemon Shield. Yeah, but fun times, man. My goodness. But, uh, yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> a raspberry. I don't have a raspberry yet. What do you do? What do you do? Are you useful? A raspberry. Oh, it's a poffin ingredient. I don't want, I don't want those. I don't want those. Let's plant something more useful. Like, an, I don't know. A... Well, I guess we'll just keep planting the ones we find so I don't run out of them for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't really... I don't see myself using Poffins. I don't know what Poffins even are. Yeah, plant the Raspberry, and let's just water these. I mean, I may as well, right? I may as well collect these berries. I'm sure that they will have some use. What do you have for me? Sprinkle some water? All right, and we're going to go explore this downside area, because I saw a Pokeball in there. And I want to go grab it. The fact that you don't need an HM slave anymore is pretty interesting. You can really diver you can really afford to diversify your team a bit. Zip, zippity doo da, zippity day. Oh, we have found something. What is it gonna be? A ponita. Here's the thing. Rapidash is trash, so I'm not using it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rapidash is so bad. I mean, if I really needed a fire type, I can just use Houndoom. Houndoom isn't great by any means, but it actually it's it's at least somewhat serviceable. I cannot say the same about po about Ponita and Rapidash. It's it's really bad. Excuse me. Super Repel. Oh, that's that's nice. Thanks for that. Uh, let's keep going. Rock. Excuse me. Rock. Excuse me. Oh. 
What have we? What, what has happened to us? Oh, a Bronzor! Hello! We could use a Bronzong, a Steel Psychic type. What would it really do for us, though? We already have a lot of slow defensive mons, so I don't think it's the best idea. If I hit it with Bite, it will die, so let's just start Razor Leafing it and see what happens. I'll catch it, I'll catch it for the Pokedex, but, um... I don't really think I'll use it. Uh-oh. Oh, oh well, that's that's still fine, actually. Shocker of all shockers. But yeah, Bronze Bronze or Bronzong is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, but in fact, while I'm just spamming Razor Leaf, let's go take a look at its stats. Actually, I'm curious now. Cause I know it's I know it's primarily used as a defensive mon, but Bronzong. I just don't know what its exact stats are, because I've never really used it. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it and hope for the best. Uh, what does Serebii have to say? It is... I'm looking... Okay, those are actually some pretty de those are some pretty decent stats, actually. Pretty slow. Good defenses. Pat... Uh, pa me passable HP, I guess, for those defenses. It's interesting. It is still Psychic Typing with Levitate, which is pretty nice, although... I, it's def it was definitely nerfed with the uh, the steel type nerf. Although there is the chance that it could have uh, heat proof, which I think is definitely the worst option between the two. You could either have an immunity to spikes, arena trap, and ground all ground type moves in general, or you could take half damage from fire type moves. So I think it's kind of obvious which one would be better. Of course, they got heat proof. <laughs> So yeah, no, I'm not using that thing. Bye-bye. Get lost. What are you? Ross berries. Oh, that's, that's freeze, I'm pretty sure. It could be good to have that. Just have a couple. I don't think I'll need a lot of them, but you could, it'd be good to have some for the ice gym, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's a burn. Oh, that's actually better. I think the burn may actually come up more often. There's a fire type gym in this game, isn't there? Surely there's a fire type gym in this game. Or a fire type... I think there's actually a fire type... Elite Four Trainer, if I recall correctly. I guess I, I recall that there is an Infernape in the Elite Four, I'm pretty sure. So it's either Fighting or Fire. I'm pretty sure it's Fire. Not that, not that there are a lot of Fire types in Gen 4 to really pick from. Wow, you really can't see there, can you? A Burn Heal? Well, okay, this, this, this place is just full of uh, Burn Remedies, isn't it? Hello, sir. Oh, you want to fight. I was just trying to get through, but if you want to fight, so be it. You are going to get riggedy wrecked, I believe is what the kids say nowadays. An onyx? Oh, please. You stand no chance against the might of Terrence. Oh, unless you have sturdy, in which case you'll be okay. But, I mean, quick claw, you know, quick claw is just nice. Bye bye. Get oh, he has sturdy. Well, he may, he may be able to get off one hit. Oh no! What was that? Four damage, I think, at most? Four damage? Ouch! How could you do this to me? I cannot believe you did this! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Onyx. You were never good. Oh my gosh. Except maybe Little Cup. That's about it. You can maybe make the excuse in Little Cup. But even there, it's probably not great. Hopefully this one doesn't have sturdy. Hopefully this one just goes down. Yep, there we go. Bye bye. I'm sure that's the sound Onyx makes as well. That's exactly the sound that Onyx makes. Your power startles me. Well, does it now? Now you've blocked my way. So thanks a lot, you fat so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went there. You fat so you. Oh, look at that. This, the sky has just changed. I think that's due to when I'm recording. I totally forgot that that was a thing. Hey! Let me go! Uh-oh. Ow. Let me go! Okay, there we go. We're fine. I think there's one more Pokeball, I think, back here I want to get. Come on! Holy smokes! Now, granted, never getting a bike through here probably isn't the best idea. Oh, what's this? Is a cave? Whoa! What's this all about? What's this all about? I do. I have a TM for Flash. Maybe.
No, I do not. Okay, well... I don't really think I can do anything with this knowledge, but the fact that that exists is really cool. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Uh, no, we'll, we'll try to get out of. We'll try to get out of here first, and then I'll call it. Oh my gosh, these stinking pony does. Would you just go away? I I don't want to deal with you. Just go away. Thank you. Gee Willikers. In fact, it may be worth using one of my repels just to get just so that we can actually get out of here. Uh, it's in here, I think. Super repel. Do we have a regular repel? No, we do not. Okay, let's just use a super repel then. Get me out of here. Huzzah! We can do it. Man, look at that. That super repel really worked for us. Yeah, but uh, I don't know where we're gonna be now. I think we're gonna be by Orberg, aren't we? I think that's gonna be where we're at. Uh, we've already been there. Route 207. Oh! Oh! Hi, Don! Hi, Poopier! How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. This isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Bluebeard, choose which hand you want. Oh, right hand. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Bluebeard. You know it's important. I obtained the Via Seeker. I wonder if I would picked left hand if it still would have been the Versus Seeker. Using that Versus Seeker, you can find traders who want a rematch with you. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Bluebeard, do you also have a Pokech? Yep, you do! You can have this too, then! You deserve it for all your hard work, Bluebeard! The Dowsing Machine Poke Poke Pokech app. The Dowsing Machine app can locate unseeable items! The Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often! It will tell you if there's an item on the ground that you can't see! It will be especially useful inside dark caves! Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes! Professor Road is counting on us! Ho ho! There we go! Off goes Mickey Mouse. Alright! Well, yep, we are back at Orberg. That's what this is. And down I go. I, I mean, I may as well. We can heal up our Pokemon while we're here. We can go back up there pretty easily. Repels effects wore off. That's fine. But I'm going to call it there, guys. That episode was mostly just cycling road. I was rambling about my Pokemon memories, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to call it here. A next episode. I don't know where we're going to be going, actually. The game is probably going to require that we go to Heart Home. At least that's what it seems like. So we'll probably be heading over there. Maybe we'll be ex maybe we'll be exploring the house uh, in Eternal Forest. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll be calling it there. Until next time, guys. It's Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.